नमस्कार एंड वेलकम नेटवर्क एनालिसिस दैट मींस पार्ट एंड सीपीएम वी आर डिस्कसिंग सम बेसिक पॉइंट्स एंड नाउ वी हैव सम रूल्स फॉर ड्राइंग नेटवर्क डायग्राम एंड द फर्स्ट रूल और सजेशन इज ईच एक्टिविटी इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय वन एंड ओनली वन एरो और आर इन द नेटवर्क यस वन एक्टिविटी शुड बी shown or represented by only one arrow we cannot show a single activity by this kind of two arrows this is wrong only one arrow for one activity if it is necessary to show extension of any activity then we can use dummy number 2 is no two activities can be identified by the same events if we did use the main event yes see this diagram event 1 is the starting point of activities a and b event 2 is end point of a and b as well as starting point of c but someone is trying to show that b is predecessor of d but a is not the predecessor of d a and b are common predecessors of c now <coughs> this is not the proper style of showing all these activities in a network diagram instead we should show this all these activities like this c event 1 is a burst event a and b start at event a a is a and b are common predecessors of c that we can show by using the dummy as the extension of activity b b alone is the predecessor of d that also can be shown in this way so no two activities can be identified by the same event if we need we can use the dummy event yes so this is the wrong way to present the activities and events in the network diagram this is the correct way the third point is the correct precedence relationship that is also known as sequencing what is it whenever any activity is added to the network <coughs> check there are three questions number 1 what activity must be completed immediately before this activity can start that means think about the predecessor or predecessors of the activity which we are going to introduce or add to the network number 2 what activities must follow this activity that means we must be clear about the successor or successors of the activity we are going to add to the diagram number 3 what activities must occur simultaneously with this activity that means we must also be clear about the concurrent activities yes so this question is about predecessor successor and concurrent we should be always clear about all these three kinds of activities whenever we add an activity to the network diagram some good habits yes it is good to have some habits which help creating a perfect or a correct network diagram number 1 is try to avoid arrows which cross each other yes arrows crossing crossing each other it is not necessary or rather it is not possible always to avoid this situation but whenever it is possible we try to avoid arrows which cross each other but it is not prohibited yes it should be a rare thing number 2 use straight arrows instead of curves although it is known as curve also but instead of drawing curve we should use straight lines to draw the arrow number 3 where never attempt to represent duration of activity by its arrow length yes this is very important point many a times the novice students 
try to represent the duration of the activity by the length of the arrows. No, never do it. Never go for it. Uh, an activity having lesser time can be or we have to represent by a longer arrow. And maybe an activity having too much long time, we have to adjust it with a very short arrow. Yes. Whenever we draw the part chart, whenever we prepare a network diagram. Number four, use arrow from left to right. Avoid mixing two directions. Never draw an arrow left to right, another right to left. No, avoid all these kinds of errors. Vertical arrows may be used if necessary. I have drawn vertical dummy activity. Even we can draw vertical arrow of a main activity also. Number five, use dummy freely in rough draft. Yes, many, many students, many teachers actually surprised with the term rough draft, including myself. No one is able to draw the final draft directly. Yes, including myself. No one is able to draw directly the final draft of any network analysis or per chart. Never. We have to draw, I can say that more than once rough drafts. Use dummy freely in rough draft or drafts, but final network should not have any unnecessary or redundant dummy. Yes, many a times people may have habit to use dummy freely more than necessary and then there will be situation of redundancy. We are going to discuss redundancy in a future lecture. So I am not going to discuss more about the word redundancy at present but you can take something like say, synonyms of unnecessary at present at least to understand this point. Number six, network has, yes, one and only one start point. Event number one, only event number one is the start point of the network diagram. Event number one can be a burst event having two, three, four or more activities simultaneously starting at the start of the network or the project. But there is one and only one start point. Similarly, there is only one, one and only one end point. Everything ends at the last finish point or end point. Yes, then only a good or perfect network diagram can be drawn or prepared. Yes. In the next few lectures, we are going to discuss about some common errors which can take place at the time of drawing a part chart or network diagram. That's it for now. Thank you very much.